Hello guys, um, JL604 here on another episode of City Skylines. I'm featuring my city in Millerton and uh, we're playing on the Seven Lakes map. Just a uh, quick recap of the last episode. Um, basically, we went ahead and added, well, we filled in this area a little bit, our mini downtown with a baseball park right over here you know just add some offices around it and yeah, it's looking quite nice here so that's basically what we did <clears throat> in this area I uh, I also thought a little bit about where I'm going to have the university and um Oh, I, I'm a little bit conflicted on where I would like it. Just a little bit. I feel like I need to fill out more residential in this area before anything, you know, before it happens or like anything happens. Um, that's just what I think. Yeah. Um, oh, yes. Let's just continue with the recap. So yes, basically filled in this area. You know, we're gonna add in some more residential. I think I'm probably gonna leave this like high rises wise, like this. It's just a good addition um, to our downtown. Cause our downtown's like way over here. Um, and what else have we done? Uh, filled in nope oh yes the major um things that we've done is adding in a cargo train terminal uh, just for people to bring goods to this area because we, we are having some problems there um i've also added in a bridge that takes you over to the imports and and pretty much the imports side of things of our cargo station is just to bring people because I noticed that over here was quite busy all the time eventually it was gonna be it might have a problem so I thought I give it another one where people can use this bridge to come over and then hit the highway to get to here to get to um, <clears throat> spots here for deliveries because we, we were running into not enough goods problems in just this area, which is why I put in the train station as well as give them another uh, ways of getting there quicker. And so far, not much of a problem, which is good. We've also added a cargo train station over here, just to service pretty much this area in case um, if they need it. Yeah, I think it's a okay. Most, most people just um, use this, I think. This is used quite quite often now, which is good. Sort of what I want. <laughs> Last but not least, remember we said we were gonna create like a little um, community here. I kind of did all this off camera while I was watching the, uh, the World Cup <laughs> or FIFA. Um, so here it is. And let me just speed it through a little bit here. Because um, you can't really, with all the fog, it's, it's kind of hard to see. So what I've done is obviously put in uh, more mansions, trees surrounding the mansions for privacy. So if you're in here, you know, you're, you're, you're pretty private, private residences. Not here because they have a view of the lake. You know, and I would add in because this is like within the park area, which is why, see, park area, which is why we can add um, piers and stuff. And I think it's a good addition. Like even over here, their backyard leads to a little, you know, a little pier for, for them to enjoy. I mean, people can come and enjoy it as well. So it's just pretty much for the people in this area. Same with here, both these 
guys can come and enjoy this pier. And last but not least, we have a pier over here by the basketball court that everybody can come and enjoy, take their dog out for a walk kind of thing. So, I think that's quite nice. Uh, and we added, obviously, a, you know, a little swimming pool, swim club, some shopping in this area. Just a little bit, a little bit of shopping pretty much here. This is a little tall, I don't like that. Delete that. I want some shorter. Let's yeah, see, a couple more shopping. A little shopping fry guys here. Added a beach volleyball court, tennis court over here, and basketball courts. So, just a few residences. This is like, you know, like kind of like Florida. <laughs> a little bit, you know, you come in. Oh yeah, and we changed the... Um, change the bridge we used uh, which bridge was that bridges and piers by Armesto so I, I think I like it I mean yeah I, I wanted something like with with a truss I think it looks good yeah, um, but we can always change it to something else. I think I like the trusses. It looks nice. Yeah, I mean, both sides. I like the color green, which is why I went with it. I didn't like the orange. That definitely looked more industrial-like. So, man, we're running into crime problems around here. I got police everywhere, so I don't know. Crime rate is low. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> um, for this episode, um, I would like to get started on my last university. And I'm looking around, looking around, because, yes, most of the people that live around here are probably going to go to this university. And over here, we, we have created like a modern um, tech institute here. And I'm just a little conflicted on where, where I should put the last university. <sighs> like, I don't really want it by the oil, like so close to the oil industry. But I guess I won't really have much of a choice here. Because we have a university here that's going to take care of most of the people here in downtown. It's easily accessible. And I don't want another university so close to that guy. I mean, we could have one over here. It's kind of far away, right? Or even over here. And it's not too far away from these guys. They can just take... Remember, we're going to have a transit that goes that way. So... <coughs> might be a good place for a university. Let me just unlock this tile. And this tile. Um, just take a look at the terrain. Let's see if it's big enough. I think it might be big enough and we've already have on off ramps sort of in this area yeah we could have the university over here our last university hmm, just take a look at the amount of people living in these areas Oh wow, there's a lot of people living in Mulberry Park. Okay. Willow Heights, not that many. Oh, lots in Lafayette District. Moose Park, got quite a bit. Thornton Park, we got a lot. I mean, no, uh, compared to Manhattan and and like downtown Milton. I mean, that those those two are still uh, where there's a lot of population, of course. 
Hmm. Yeah, I think the university around here. Like, yeah, we have this. But I feel like we're even like towards here on this side. <coughs> That's just really what I'm thinking. Because the SkyTrain is here, so it'll catch, you know, like the university will have to be sort of in this area. Because this is SkyTrain stop, we'll probably have a SkyTrain stop there. And, or even this whole area. Because then we'll have residential here. I will be going in and um, filling in this spot here for residential. And we're probably going to move the tolls. We'll probably get rid of it for now. really need the university. I mean, I could just let this run and let them come off here for the university and right. Cuz most of the people living in this area can go to you this university. And we have a modern tech institute there. I really feel it's probably better over here university wise. Yeah, and the people that live over there, they can just take this avenue that's underneath and go back home to the people that are living over here. <coughs> this is like definitely suburbs area. Because I was thinking if I put it over here, um, yeah, that's something that I, I'm a little conflicted. Oh, what to do, guys? There's no right and wrong, right? It's just I'm trying to find, like, the perfect spot for it. <coughs> and at the edge of the, at the city might be it. Just the edge, you know? Yeah, like, the edge over here so let's do that um, let's just so the sky train let's finish up the sky train then so I have a better understanding the stadiums on the other side and we could have this called like University Boulevard or something like that we look at our can start 
Just trying to think again. Give me a sec here. Um, yeah, I think so. I think we'll do it. We'll do it up here. Because this Skytrain line is going to come this way and this way. And I'll probably loop this way to catch the people that want to, right? And we can have like a, you know, another stop here and another stop there. So people can just walk. Or maybe we can create a bus line to, to try, um, bring people from this area to here. This is not a far distance, right? Yeah. Because I feel like university wise, I mean, yeah, people are going to use this. Most of the people are going to go here. And right now here, people are going to go either there. Yeah. <coughs> let's, let's create it here. Question is, where do I start? I mean, I can probably do something like this. I create most of this as the university. Yeah, I think so. That's another university campus right up here. All right, guys, that being said, I'm probably going to go off um, mute myself and uh, design this university. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll see you guys in a bit.
Um, so that's, I think that's sort of it for this episode. Um, yeah, uh, I, I gotta wait for the university to build up, um, its reputation anyways. So, yes, I finally decided to put it on the edge of my city here. Um, just because we have the Skytrain line that's gonna loop down around. And it's probably gonna go through here and we're gonna have a station here and it, it just be a quick walk um, from here to here I mean we might even put a bus lane in uh, just for this so that people can transfer from one like we can do like a quick bus like you know not many stops so people can like just get from here to here quickly that's, that's just what I'm thinking. Yeah, because... Or... Let me just think. I could bring that line down here as well. I could. I could. So what we, what we do here is... We have um, one of these elevated bypass kind of stations like here let me just do that like so right and um, I think that'll look good let me just try and uh, put this uh, put this here. Just um, turn this off and show you guys what I mean. Kind of like what we did for the other station. Because look, there's four tracks here, right? And we might be able to just... Just... Like, we'll, we'll continue with one down there. And we can have another one sort of turn this way. Right, we we'll do a bend or something. Like we we'll do a 15 by 15, something like that. And it'll go straight. I mean, it's fine. We're going to fill it up with, um, you know, 
with stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. And yeah, we can have something that goes like that. And can easily bend this. Trying to get that perfect angle. It's not really perfect, but oh. But I'll do something like that. And it loops around like that. Um let me just see if distance too short. Ugh. Now that's annoying. That's okay. I think that's 15. Let's try 9 or something. See? Nice and smooth, right? And we can just... So now it's by 12. something like that so the knot line that comes down will come over here and it'll have a stop here you know just just to just for people to transfer right yeah we'll transfer here instead instead of them walking we'll just transfer here I think that's that's a better uh, better design. Oh no, I'm definitely losing a lot of money here. Uh, I don't even know to what. Skytrain's okay. I didn't even do anything like crazy. I think it's just again my airport. Maybe I really have no idea. I definitely have to keep an eye on it. We were at 98 million. Now we're down to. You know, 97. And I'm not sure why. We're still losing money. Losing money on ore. Oh, now we're gaining money on ore. I don't know. But I think that's it for this episode, guys. Um. Oh man, we are losing tourist buildings. But that's a okay. See here too. I don't know why we run into these problems throughout my city. I have lots of, lots of people, right? But even here, look, Old Navy is saying not enough customers. Um, I have no idea why. That's okay. Just add in another. Not enough customers. Not enough customers. I mean, we have a lot of people in the city. Maybe in this area, yeah, it was. It's mostly, definitely, mostly um, commercial. That's probably why. I mean, I could go ahead and add in more residential in this area. That could help, like high density buildings maybe yeah but I think that's it I'm probably just gonna sit off camera here and um, level up the uh, university and fill in more residential as you guys may have seen I just went ahead and filled in pretty much Bedford Heights over here um, with specialized buildings and you know we have our little Chris winter market here with a park by the Skytrain we're probably gonna add more commercial commercial buildings here just for the people that that work in this area like we have a recycling center here as well as a cargo train terminal so this is like office you know office space slash warehouse space we even put in this uh, television 
this TV station broadcast station there so now we just gotta wait alright guys until next time I'll see you later